Well, hello everybody. The fan in my video card bit the dust. Years ago, it had done it once. It did it again. These are the bearings that came out of that card. This one had come apart. This one was partially apart, and I put it back together. Now, I'm going to order some of these to replace them, but these are going to be my get-me-by set until the new ones arrive because they're going to take about a month to get here once I order them because they have to come directly from China. The dimensions on these bearings, this penny's here for reference, that bearing right there is a 2 millimeter bore. It's 2.5 millimeters tall and it is a 5 millimeter bearing. And here is the end of my finger to show how tiny that is. It's got seven balls in it. You see those little balls there? This is a bamboo skewer. Skewer, look how small that is. So seven balls. There's the cage right there. It is a plastic cage. That is the shield. And that is the clip that holds on the shield. The inner race right there. And then the outer race. I am going to reassemble this bearing. This is more of a can I do it? I believe I can. And I'm going to show what I can and describe most of it because I'm going to have to get right on top of this thing with a headlamp, optivisors. Lost one of these balls last night as I picked it up. My wife actually found it for me. I'm going to start by measuring one of these balls just to give you an idea how micro this micro bearing is. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Let's see if we can get this here. I've got a headlamp on, so if the light washes it out, I'm sorry, but it's what I've got to do. So I've got a magnetic straight pin here, and I've just picked it up. I'm going to try to pinch it down in these jaws. Just talking is scaring me about blowing them. Okay, I've got it pinched in there. 31 thousandths of an inch. Let's see, let's convert that. It's not even a millimeter. 0.78 millimeters. Tiny, tiny. Now I've got to get it back on there without losing it. Got it on my straight pin. Oh, picked up something else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All accounted for. All right. Well, here's where I'm going to have to start describing things because I'm going to be right on top of this. Uh, the shield is already in one side of the bearing on the bottom of this with that clip. The inner race is going to go inside just like that. Now I'm going to start dropping the bearings in and I'm going to have to keep the race to one side, get all the bearings in and they'll be packed together and then I have to bring them around one at a time and try to get them evenly spaced best I can. Then I'll drop in the shield. I'm sorry, the, uh, the cage. And then once I get the cage on, I'll put the shield with the clip, and I'm going to lubricate it after the fact. All right, well, that was 10 minutes of breathlessness. It's kind of hard to get the light in here so close, but you can see I've got all the balls at the top except one that I brought around. All right, well, that was probably the most difficult part was getting those balls equally spaced it's very difficult to see and then getting the cage in there to separate the balls it's important that they be relatively close to where they need to be so the cage can move them around slightly so I've got that part taken care of now it's just a matter of putting on the dust shield and that little retaining clip all right well I've got the shield and the retaining clip back on I laid it down held it on one side with the clip in the slot and just took the end of a skewer and it just fell right in. That was the easiest part actually. So now it's time to lubricate. My cage came in this way. 
So I'm going to lubricate it on the opposite side and I'm going to force a little bit of grease up into these holes. I don't want it packed full. I don't want it stiff. But for reference, I'm just going to use a little bit of this Sil Glide synthetic grease. Put just a little bit on the end of my finger, walking or working around the camera here. Just a little dab. And I've stuck it on a skewer and cut the tip off of it. And I'm just going to just pack it in. Just like so. Wipe off the excess. And we'll see where we're at. I'll clean it up a little bit further beyond this. Oh, yeah. That is nice and smooth. Well, alright guys. That is the smallest bearing I've ever tried to service in any manner. It's not uncommon for me to pop shields off of bearings. They're usually steel caged. Clean them out, repack them, put the shields back on. But never anything that small. That's the smallest bearing I think I've ever seen. Whether or not they make one smaller than that, I do not know. I would love to see the manufacturing process. I know how steel balls are made. That doesn't really concern me. But to do races and grind them that tiny and hold the tolerances on them and then assemble them with some type of machine, I would assume, that is just fascinating in my opinion. Anyway, just a little bit of general information. Thanks for watching guys. Take care and good luck.